you how to back up and play your Wii games from an external hard drive or a USB device. Now, this does work on all Wiis, including the new red and black Wiis. And you will need an SD card. I'd recommend at least two gigabytes. And you will need the homebrew channel and have a hacked Wii to do this. So if you don't have that, you can check out my videos for that. And come back to this video when you're done. Let's get started. First, you can connect your external hard drive to your Wii via USB port. Then go to USB Loader GX. The first time you load your external hard drive like this, you'll need to format it to WBFS format. So just click the format button and select the partition you want to format. And then click yes. And it should format it very quickly and click OK. And then I'm going to give you a quick tour of USB Loader GX. Use that to display your favorites only. And then use this to set the search filter. You can just type in your game that you're looking for and select it from the list. There's Twilight Princess. It's a really good game. So sort your games alphabetically, sort them by rank, or you can sort them in order by most played. Then so, you can display them as a list like this, and scroll all the way down. You can display them like this, you can go left and right through the games. Then you can press up to decrease the rows. And press down to increase the rows and go all the way down to one row or all the way up to three rows. Okay, you can click that to display as a carousel. You can just go left and right through your games. And there's also parental controls, which I don't use them. So. You can also mount the DVD drive and play Wii games from the DVD drive. You can also install new games, which I'll come back to that in just a minute. There's also the settings for USB loader. And then you can click this to reload the SD card. You can use the homebrew launcher, which is very similar to the homebrew channel. Or list all of the games on your SD card and you can launch them. Right, you can click the Wii icon to exit or shut down the USB loader. You can click the power button to fully shut down or put your Wii into standby mode. And it also lists how many games you have on your external hard drive. Right, first you can insert your game. I'll be using Mario Kart Wii. Then you should get a prompt saying new disk detected. You can just click install. Then click OK. And this normally takes a while, so I fast forward the video clip. through your games and find the new game on your list. It's Mario Kart Wii. Mario Kart Wii!
Next I'm going to show you how to copy your Wii games from the external hard drive onto your computer. Now whatever you do, do not format the hard drive. This Windows cannot uh, read WBFS format. So you'll, you'll need to download a WBFS manager. Just follow the link in the video description. Then click download then click I agree and then when it's done you can just right click it and extract with WinRAR which you can also download from the video description you can run the setup exe and then just follow the instructions When it's finished, you can run the WBFS manager. Then up at the top, you can select the uh, drive and then load it. Then it'll list all of the games on your external hard drive. See, and there's Mario Kart Wii. And then you can go to Extract ISO, which will copy it to your computer. This normally takes a while, and I sped up the video clip. And when it's done, you can click OK. And there it is on my desktop. And to add games from your computer to your uh, hard drive, you just drag and drop into the box. And then you can rename them if you want. And then to add them, you simply click Add to Drive. And when it's done, you can click OK. And scroll down and find the new game I added, which is Resident Evil 4 Wii Edition. This is a very useful app.